As another presidential election approaches, the state of our economy is top of mind for many Americans. And while recent economic reports like today's GDP report seem to show improvement, many voters are still skeptical that the U.S. economy is in a good place. Our Elizabeth Schulze had an exclusive sit down with Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen to discuss the economic issues still concerning Americans and her outlook on the year ahead. I want to ask you about a recent ABC News Ipsos poll, which found that it was asked, if you work hard, you will get ahead. Only 27 percent of Americans said that the American dream still holds. That's down from 50 percent when that question was first asked in 2010. Do you think the American dream still holds? We want to make sure that it does. And it does require work to address longstanding problems. Um, when I was growing up, um, 80 or 90 percent of people in my generation did better than their parents did. And those numbers have dropped substantially. And that's what the American dream is about. And there are parts of the country that have really not seen much economic progress. They haven't seen good jobs created, and some that existed have disappeared in large swaths of the country. And that's something that has to change. Just over a year ago, 100% of Wall Street economists expected a recession within the next year. The GDP report that came out clearly shows there was not a recession. Is the likelihood of recession now at 0%? Well, it's never at 0% because things can always happen. There are always risks. But look, the outlook that I have and that most economists have is a very favorable one. We have an economy that has been growing at a good, healthy pace. I see no reason why that can't continue. I think 2024 is going to be a very good economic year. That said, there are always risks. But no reason right now why there would be a recession this There's year. There's no obvious reason why there would be. How do you convince Americans and voters that those prices might not go back to where they were before the pandemic? Well, I think most um, Americans know that pri prices um, are not likely to fall. It's not the Fed's objective to um, try to push the level of prices back to where they were, but to stop them from rising so wage gains exceed price gains. Despite the strong economic data that you're talking about, we know that President Biden's handling of the economy is at a record low. What do you say to Americans who see this data, but say they are just not feeling that economic strength? Well, first, I'd like to say that recent surveys suggest that picture is changing. Um, we've seen a massive increase, improvement in consumer sentiment in recent surveys. The pandemic was, um, had a huge impact on so many households, apartment rents, food, or maybe 20 percent higher than they were before the pandemic. And I think that's something that influences sentiment. But what's happening um, for more than a year now, and I expect this to continue, is wages are rising more rapidly than prices. You acknowledge it takes a while to happen. Will that sentiment turn around in time for the November election? What I'm trying to do is to help President Biden explain to the American people what his economic strategy has been and um, the fact that he recognizes the burdens that face middle class households as they try to um, conduct their lives and is doing everything possible to address those concerns. But many businesses, we heard JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon last week say businesses would favor a Trump second term, that his policies were best for the economy. What do you say to Jamie Dimon? Well, wealthy corporations did very well. They saw their tax rate go from 35 percent to 21 percent. And um, so that was a that was a benefit that they enjoyed. It resulted in um, two trillion dollars of additional deficits and really did absolutely nothing for the middle class that was struggling. So that's those are not the priorities that President Biden has. The Trump tax cuts did nothing for the middle class. In my opinion. 
Elizabeth Schulze with that exclusive. Elizabeth, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.